Luke here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and I'm here in Alaska with my family and we're spending three days camping, fishing, floating rivers and having a great time. You have all your... Um... You guys ready to do a camping trip? Yeah! yeah. No! Well, this is something a little different. We're going camping for about three days and uh, I've got the whole family with me. This is the Thermarest Mundo King XL. It's arguably the most comfortable camping pad on the market. When Becca comes with me, she gets the Mundo King. I think the second most comfortable mats on the market are these. It's the Sea to Summit Comfort Light. You inflate them out with this stuff sack. There we go, we got everyone set up. There we go, some prime rib steak and uh, bell peppers and strawberries. Hard to beat seasoned steak, is there? There, there you go, babe. Hey, you want a marshmallow stick? Yes, thank you, Dad. Oh oh there you go, Becca. Perfect marshmallow <gasps> for so you. Perfect, thank you. Oh, that is that's perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. Well, guys, we got everything set up. Got the kids fed, but we got to get them to bed because it's already late. But that's okay because we are going to be camping for three days. We're going to be fishing and rafting and doing all sorts of fun adventures. So uh, it's going to be pretty nice. Did you get toothpaste? Brush your teeth. Brush. Got a bottle of hot water here. I'm gonna put it in Mama's sleeping bag. Make sure she's nice and warm tonight. I'm using farts to keep you warm. I'm <laughs> using farts to keep you warm. Okay. Oh, I finally got all the kids to sleep. It's late. I'm putting the camera up. I'll see you guys in the morning. Come on, boys! Up and at him! Up and at him! Jacob! Jacob! Oh, oh. And this face is gonna be, oh, we got another one! <laughs> oh, you're getting big. All right, in you go. Can't get uh, look, there's little mini cinnamon rolls. Well, we're up early and we're gonna do a little salmon fishing, but first, we gotta go through the second longest tunnel in the United States. So we're going through the tunnel to Whittier, Alaska. Now, the Whittier Tunnel is about two miles long and it's a single lane. So you have to share the tunnel with all the directions of traffic and with the railroad. So at the bottom of the hour, traffic goes into Whittier. At the top of the hour, traffic comes out of Whittier and the train has its own little schedule it goes around too. So we're gonna go drive on the railroad tracks. Welcome to the town of Whittier. This is not a big place. Basically an apartment building, a fish processing plant, and some docks. But it's a lovely little place. All right, we're here. Let me show you the spot. This little creek has a bunch of spawning pink salmon. 
and the pink salmon sit out in that lagoon waiting for high tide to come up into this river. So I'm going to go out there and catch some pink salmon. Time to go do some spear fishing. We'll see if I can't get something before hypothermia sets in. Well, there we go. Got three pink salmon. We're gonna make some nice smoked salmon with these bad boys. Ugh. Well, Becca, that was a little bit soggy, but it was successful, huh? I'm back at the campsite and I gotta admit I'm a little cold so I'm gonna get the fire going try to warm up a little bit Literally. there you go thank you <laughs> this is robbing my hot dog uh, <laughs> hey, hey you burned your wiener we have five species of salmon here in Alaska, and this is called a pink salmon, or they call them a humpy, because they get a hump on their back. They start off super silver out in the ocean, and then they start to change colors when they get near freshwater, get ready to spawn. This one was still in the ocean, but he's already kind of, kind of changing. These are not as popular as other salmon to eat, but they taste pretty good smoked. This is why they call them pink salmon. The meat's pink. All the other salmon have red or orange meat. Becca is helping me pack up the mats. Let's see how it's going in here. How's it going, Becca? I gotta get the arrows! <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe, you ready to go try out another campsite? Let's do it. Oh, Becca's dried out her pants. Yay. Oh, look at this, Melanie, this is a nice spot. My sister Melanie's gonna be joining us. I think that's her spot right there for the tent. We got a big thing of gummy snacks that we brought back from our trip to England. Wheat thins and soft pretzels. You want mustard? No, oh, mustard and cheese. Oh, soft pretzels with mustard and cheese. Oh, my weakness. We go get some water here. I like the feeling. Here, come on, Jake, grab the pump. Uh, 
and there's pressure with it, and then on top of that, um, um, it's good enough for them. You know? I, I don't know. I, 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 yeah, I don't have a problem with the, the whole you know, code line casting thing, but I'm like, I. <laughs> Ladies, ready for some cider? Oh yeah. Oh, there so you go. Oh, there you go, Melanie. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and get dinner going. I got some lemon lime chicken shish kebabs, some bacon wrapped chicken shish kebabs, and I'm gonna make some homemade flatbread to go with it. You know, might throw some honey butter on it. I don't know. We'll just see what's happened. Adjust the kit. Not. Oh, well, I think. Oh, it's just I was I. I Why am I talking to me? You like it? You good? Oh yeah. You like it? There we go. Nice piece of bread covered in cinnamon honey butter. Oh, Becca, did you like cinnamon and honey butter? I love it so much. What do you guys think? You like it? It's so good. It's so hot. This is how I'm going to keep my wife and my looks fade. It's the cooking skills. Hey, babe, there you go. There's some tea. Oh, thank you so much. So yeah. Herbal tea's good, herbal isn't tea it? Herbal is that, so good. We got a lot of really nice herbal teas on our trip to England, and we've been we've been enjoying these. I think this is <laughs> strawberry elderberry mix. You like the bread? Yes, sir. Mm. Boys, you got to eat up and sleep well tonight because we are going fishing tomorrow. Can we do the hot water bottles again tonight? Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, they get sap. There we go. We got all the sleeping bags laid out. Let's get some boys in bed. Yeah, I go extra, extra strong on camp out. They've been eating a lot of sugar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go, babe. Let's put one in my bag and one in yours. Oh, Becca's doing battle with the kids in the tent, but I need to get ready for fishing tomorrow because me, Tom, and Nate are going to float a river on that boat. Well, I got the boat all ready to go for tomorrow. The kids are in bed and asleep. I think I'm going to put the camera down and pack it up for the night. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. Good morning, Jacob. Okay. You guys like your granola? Yeah. Got a pretty easy breakfast today. We're doing hard boiled eggs and mountain house granola. Just add cold water to it and it makes uh, granola and milk. I'm not the hugest fan of hard boiled eggs, but when they're warm and salted, pretty good fist. Oh. Ah. Ah. I'm Snake Man. There we go, we're all packed up. Now we gotta get the boys on the river. We gotta go catch some salmon. All right, guys, we're on the river. <laughs> we're gonna give this a go. I have floated this river several times, but never as the guy behind the oars. So this is gonna be a first for me. But we've got about a three hour float trip if we just go straight through, but we wanna stop and fish along the way. We're gonna try to catch some sockeye salmon, but we might catch some trout or dollies too. Check out all those dead trees up there. Those are all killed by the Japanese spruce bark beetle. The invasive beetle from Japan. Oh, I think we're gonna get our first taste of rapids. Hold on tight. You wanna get them before they do? We got an anchor on the front of the boat with a little bit of a pulley system here. And I just dropped the anchor and uh, we're gonna try doing a little fishing and get a little bit of lunch. For lunch, the boys are getting banana Nutella sandwiches here. 
All right, there we go. You guys like going down rivers like this? Yeah. Oh, do you see any sunshine? Yeah, look. Look at that bald eagle just sitting right there. See right there in the grass? That bald eagle was like riffing grass up, flying off with the big wad of grass. Oh, this is a good looking spot. Maybe we'll snap, maybe we'll have plays. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, you got a fish. You got, it. you got a nice trout. Nathan, Nathan. Oh, yeah, Tommy, don't reel it up all the way. Keep him in the water. Keep him up. Yeah, bring it up. Bring it up. Nice rainbow, Tom. Yeah, let's get him in the water. Well, he pulled this spot and Tommy nailed an 18 inch rainbow trout right off the get go. It's just absolute oh, chaos. Oh, you got one? Oh, he's oh, so strong. Keep it up, Daisy. Keep it right up. Pull it's it up. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, this guy was crazy. He had a, someone's fly stuck in him and line all wrapped around him. Where others failed, we succeeded. I was like, oh, that's what happened to my fly. That fish pulled so hard, it pulled our boat off anchor. And I had to pull up the anchor and row us in while Nathan was fighting it. So now I gotta reposition the boat. Oh, there you go, Tom. Show me what you got. <laughs> nice stick, Tom. Let's. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let him go though. This has been a great spot, but we got to keep moving down the river. And then you help. So we've anchored up here in the current, and I've chucked out the wiggle warts on the left and right, and they're just sitting in the current, wiggling, about halfway between the top and the bottom of the water. Now sockeye salmon don't eat when they're in the river, but they do get really irritable when the trout get too close to them. And so what you're hoping is that these wiggle warts tick them off and they'll go and nip at the tail like they do with the trout and then we get to hook them. Up, up. Get off the line! Come up. Just don't jerk it, Tommy. Keep the right touch. It. Did he smoke at you? Okay. No problem. You want to try again? Yes! Here. Please, get off. No! Here, bring him over to... Oh. Oh. I, just tried, I just tried to hold on to the rod and keep myself in. I know! Yes! Uh, there we go, Tom. Awesome! Was that awesome? Yes! High five! Yes! Yes, there no. we go. I have like Congratulations, the nice pair of sockeye salmon, guys. You guys have done real well. I think we need to pull anchor and get out of here, guys. Mom's probably wondering where we're at. I can see it. There's the landing. Landing speed! Oh, so beautiful. Your meat is dark red. Yeah. Nothing. That's what they've been eating. Yay! Woo! There we go. Got a ton of meat and a ton of bait. Yeah. Well, let's go see Mama and Jake, see how they're doing. Oh. Well, listen, guys, if you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed doing it, make sure to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. I'll see you guys then. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.